What is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Rip, and today we are kicking ass with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Lost in Time. I don't really have to say a huge amount about it, so let's just jump straight into it. So this is it, this is Turtles, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Lost in Time. Now you can only actually get Leonardo and Mike here, so to be fair, it's a bit annoying that you can't get the whole cast here, but you can clearly see straight off the bat that this clearly mimics the original arcade title Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, in the fact that the style looks exactly the same, and to me it just kind of straight off the bat looks like it. I, I could be wrong, but it's the way I view it anyway. As any other beats of rage, it literally is clear a pathway and then continue. You basically get the thing which literally says, go to the next screen, push on. Yeah, it does exactly the same here, obviously because it's built upon the beats of rage model here. And that's, that's a classic way of playing beat em ups. You can't deny it, that is exactly the way. But like I said, you can clearly see this map looks like one of the original maps when it used to be, was it a boulder or something coming down? Yeah, you, you know the one. But either way, the hardness or difficulty, not certainly not the hardness, oi oi, but no, the actual difficulty of this game, you know, it does go up gradually until the point where you're essentially in Shredder's layer. Let's, let's call it a boudoir, I don't know what we really want to call it. But then obviously that's where it does really get hard. And hey, let's face it, you need that difficulty in an arcade title. And even with the smaller bosses, aka when you're going up against Bebop and Rocksteady, then they do also throw another bunch of enemies just to kind of bolster their attack. That happens with all of the bosses in this game pretty much, to the point where you aren't just taking on the two main bosses, you're then also taking on the extra goons that decide to join in, to the point where they actually also respawn. So as soon as you've taken one of them out, that's right, another one runs in. Yes, this will absolutely eat your credits away, but hey, it does make it that authentic arcade title in the fact that, yeah, that's right, it mimics the difficulty of the arcades, which, to me, is actually really good. Yes, controls are simplistic with this, as any Beats of Rage game is. It's pretty much a jump, an attack, and a special attack. Now, obviously, a lot of the time when you also double tap a direction, you can run, as you just saw there. You know, that's, again, pretty much standard. Now, the other thing you can do is obviously pick up health along the way. If you see those pizza boxes, make sure to pick them up, because you will need them, because also, if you do want to replenish your special health or special attack, let's say, you're going to need that as well. Visually, yes, I absolutely love this game. I actually think it's one of the real good, decent Beats of Rage titles out there. The sprites, the animations, they all just, they look right. Other thing is the hit detection. The hit detection is actually really, really good and actually kind of forgiving. Whereas some of them, you literally have to be on the exact sprite or pixel that you need to hit. Whereas this one is a little bit more forgiving. And yeah, like I said, it just flows, it just works. I really like this Turtles game. Overall, actually just a very decent Turtles game. Like I said, there's so many out there now that, hey, they're not all fantastic. Whereas this one, clearly the love is showing through with this one. And you can see the love for the source material in just the presentation, the music, and just how complete it absolutely feels. Now, it is called a demo, but to me, this feels very much, very much complete. See, now for me, I really, really enjoyed this game overall. I think the controls are great, as I've said, sounds fantastic. It just works. Hit detection is really, really good. For me, a decent Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Now, I have attached a download link if you do want to give this a go on your Sega Dreamcast, the best console of them all. 
Now, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, do hit that subscribe button, give us a follow, give us a comment, give us a like. Also check out Games Reup Live, the backup channel from a Twitch channel. If you didn't know I'm on Twitch, I am now on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Games Reup. That's right. Like, comment and subscribe. Al signing out.